The Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles is one of America's most haunted and infamous buildings. I'm going to show you what it looked like almost 100 years ago and tell you more about the murder, death, and destruction that have taken place within its walls. The hotel was constructed in the early 1920s and opened right before Christmas in 1924. It was a beautiful, beautiful hotel, a marble lobby, stained glass windows. You can see here a picture of the lobby. Uh, this is a more recent picture, but it looks much the same today as it did almost 100 years ago. And this is a picture of the exterior of the hotel around the 1920s. And this is really when the hotel was in its prime. Uh, you can see you've got trolleys outside, old cars on the street, people walking back and forth. Uh, this is just after the Hotel Cecil opened and really when it was in its prime. Unfortunately, that prime didn't last very long and death and destruction started at the hotel shortly after it opened its doors. The first death was a little over two years after the hotel opened in 1927. A man committed suicide at the hotel after having a falling out with his wife and child. Uh, unfortunately, the hotel opened at a very inopportune time right before the Great Depression and it's in an area of Los Angeles known as Skid Row, which is uh, infamous today for drug activity, prostitution, and the hotel became known for suspicious deaths and murder of guests. Uh, so after the Great Depression, or during the Great Depression, it pushed a lot of farmers um, and those living in the D Dust Bowl in the Midwest further west in search of better opportunities, and many of them settled in downtown Los Angeles in the Skid Row area. Uh, so many of those stayed at the hotel, and that unfortunately led to um, a decline in the area of downtown Los Angeles around where the Hotel Cecil is located. So many weren't able to find success during the Great Depression and became homeless. And there were many deaths during the Great Depression, at least six, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about those. Uh, the first occurred in 1931, where a man was found dead in his room. He had checked in under a false name and ingested poison. His death was ruled a possible suicide, so there are some suspicious circumstances around that man's death. In 1932, a man died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. In 1934, a terminally ill man cut his throat with a razor. A woman fell out of a ninth-story window in 1937. Police were unable to determine if her death was a suicide or an accident. Another guest fell to their death in 1938, which was ruled a uh, which was ruled a suicide. A naval officer was found dead in their room in 1939 after ingesting poison. Um, and I don't believe any cause of death was determined there. Unfortunately, after the Great Depression, when Americans found better times, uh, the Hotel Cecil was still mired with death and destruction. At least 12 deaths have occurred after the Great Depression to now. Uh, the ages range from a newborn baby to 65 year old, a 65 year old man and a 65 year old woman who died on separate occasions. And the most recent death was in 2015. I won't go through each death, but there were murders, suicides, accidents, and more suspicious deaths at the hotel. Uh, during the 1940s and 1950s, Skid Row was becoming a very bad part of Los Angeles. And this shows the hotel during those times. So you can see here, this image is from uh, the late 30s or 40s, but you can see the windows on the side here, the advertisement of the Hotel Cecil. Guess here, some uh, committed suicide by jumping out of windows and landing on that building that you see on the left. Others fell or were pushed out of the window. Uh, and here's what I believe to be a later image of the, in the 1940s or 1950s. You can see the old cars here on the street. On the right, um, it looks like the other buildings around the hotel were taken out of the image for the postcard. Uh, but you can see here, really uh, tall hotel, downtown Los Angeles, advertising on the side. Uh, really cool old, old postcard. The hotel is not known just for the deaths that occurred between its walls. The serial killer Richard Ramirez used the hotel as his base in the 1980s. Um, he's also known as the Night Stalker. He committed 13 murders and... He was convicted of 13 murders, and it's thought to be uh, that he committed most of these murders while staying at the Hotel Cecil in downtown Los Angeles. He had a room on the top floor, and this image is from around the time Richard Ramirez was staying at the Hotel Cecil, or a little bit earlier. Uh, but you can see here, um, he would have had one of these rooms on the top floor, uh, which he used as his base when he was uh, committing his atrocities. There are a few more recent deaths. 
One in 2015 that I mentioned is, uh, or was the death of an individual that is still unidentified. Another death in 2013 was possibly one of the more suspicious deaths that have occurred at the hotel. So you might have seen the Netflix documentary that uh, was made based on the death that occurred at this hotel in 2013. It's the disappearance of Elisa Lamb, who was a young woman staying at the hotel. She was eventually found in a water supply tank on the roof of the hotel. Uh, but there's very disturbing footage of her in the elevator right before her death. Um, going up to the top of the building, you can see here some of that footage. Uh, her death was eventually um, ruled an accidental drowning. Unfortunately, she suffered from mental illness and uh, was not able to overcome that struggle. There are uh, many pop culture and TV show and movie references to the Hotel Cecil. One of the most well-known is the fifth season of American Horror Story, which is American Horror Story Hotel. Uh, was inspired and based on Hotel Cecil. If you've seen that season of American Horror Story, you probably remember it's based on the Hotel Cortez located in downtown Los Angeles. And they didn't film at Hotel Cecil, but uh, you'll notice the outside and inside lobby of the buildings are very similar. And many of the deaths that occurred in the show mirrored real life deaths that occurred at the Hotel Cecil. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Hotel Cecil. I really enjoy making these videos for you. If you like this one, you'll love the video I just did about a haunted hotel in Alabama. So check that out. Um, we'll put the links below. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this.